Hey guys, this is Ducky, and this is my tenth tutorial. Yay, the Big Ten, finally. So basically, what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be doing a tutorial on the popular, it seems to be, uh, life support mod, which you can download from guysmod.org. And I'm going to be combining this with something that I want to do to do for a while, which is a laser pointed turret. So basically, what I'm going to do is have a laser pointed satellite that is that uses weapons from CDS. They're probably going to be about two parts this tutorial. Don't think I'll have enough time to do it in one. And first part is going to be life support. Second part is going to be the turret. And hopefully, you'll like it after. Okay, so go to your life support tab. This is what we're going to be using for the most part. So you have combat damage systems, so CDS, that's what it says there, life support, and resource distribution. Okay, so go to generators and get a fusion generator. And I'm just going to show you this quickly. And then um, I've actually got an, a little kind of cheat for this, which and it's a bind that allows me to change the model into a mini CPU. So you have a coolant compressor, an air compressor, and go to storage devices, large resource cache. And put that there. So basically with resource distribution we have a link tool which is basically like wire in the sense that you're linking two things together. So if you link the fusion reactor and the resource, it's any coolant that's in the resource is going to help the fusion reactor and any energy that the fusion reactor produces is going to go into this to make these run. So if I link them up and see there's a bit of energy but that's not very good because it doesn't make that much energy so see we've got coolant and energy I know this is very annoying the sound so go to your console and type stop sounds okay so that's basically it so now I'm going to show you a quick and easy way to power your satellite to spawn a PHX 1x1 one one plate and freeze it in the air. Go to generators, coolant compressor, and press the plus key when you have the binds in. So I'm going to put one there, one there, one there, one there. Yeah, one there, one there, and one there, one there, one there, one there. So now we need fusion generators. So you have to press the plus again. Put one there, and one there. This should be enough. And if not, I'll put in some more after and go to CDS munitions so this is basically what can store s can store the ammo and stuff so press I think it is minus key yep the minus key and put that in the center of the that grid there now go to CDS tech go to ammo f factory basic press the uh, the um, left bracket so it changes place one there actually no place one there one there go to explosion explosion factory uh, press left bracket again spawn it there 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 and there uh, get a fuel press the left bracket wait, trying to see what's going on here 
there, there, and pierce, and press left bracket, there, there, there. Okay, so now we just need a storage device, and I usually use the large resource cache because it can store anything basically. And go to CDS. Uh, look for it. Oh, link junction even. Sorry. And we need to link this all up. So what you can actually do is if you link each of the coolant compressors to each other. You can then on, you then only have to link up one to the storage device. Do the same for the fusions, and link it up. Now we need to do the ammo, and link link it all off, link it all up. You can link everything to everything really. It's just to make life easier, and then link it to the ammo cache, and then link the resources available to the ammo cache and to the uh, resource cache so if I turn this on I can turn all this on Turn. Type stop sounds if you need to, uh, so you can still hear me. You can make a bind for stop sounds, but so now. Oh, you have to link each of the different types to the the ammo cache, otherwise it won't work. So there we have it. We could use edge air compressors, but we don't need to because uh, we have all the stuff we need. So anyway, this that's part two, part one for you. Sorry, and uh, I'll see you in part two.